Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I am really excited and perhaps you've already heard, but Gabor has come out with a brand new collection and it's called their Luxury Designer Series. And I have one of their new styles called Own the Room by Gabor in the color SS Wheat. So stay tuned. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the styles that I wear, including this gorgeous Own the Room, you can head over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. Some of you may already be aware that Gabor and Raquel Welch wigs are both made from a company called Hair You Wear. So I was incredibly excited when I heard that Gabor came out with this brand new designer series. Number one, I love the fact that they have introduced these heat defiant synthetic fibers. And to be very honest with you, although I've loved many of the Gabor styles, I haven't ever really found a color that is best fitting for me. So because these new Gabor styles are heat friendly, a lot of those shades that you loved over at Raquel Welch are now being seen within this Gabor Luxury Designer Luxury series, which is awesome. So I'll be reviewing all four of those styles in the new Designer Luxury series collection, but we'll, we're gonna start with Own the Room. And I love this one, and I actually think that there is a Raquel Welch style that is quite similar to this with some key differences that we'll go over. But first, why don't we break down Own the Room? As you can see, it is a sort of mid-length layered style. I think that this is one of the most wearable long styles. You know, it's got enough length where you feel like you're wearing long hair, but without it being so overwhelming and frankly, a little bit of a pain. So. I love this length and I love the layers on this style. I think one of the questions that I've gotten asked about Gabor before is, is the quality the same as what we've experienced on Raquel, my Raquel Welch wigs? And in my experience, the fibers feel very, very similar because they're both true to life heat defiant fibers. So same fibers that you see over on your Raquel Welch wigs. The caps are fitting me very similar to my Raquel Welch wig caps. I have a 22 inch circumference head. This is fitting me beautifully right out of the box. So why don't I do a turn so that you can see own the room on all sides. So clearly this is my front. I will get up close so that you can see that hairline on this particular color SS Wheat. So they have brought those lighter shades right up to the front. Um, it does have an extended lace front right into the ear tab so that you could wear this style off your face with confidence. This lace front reminds me very much of the lace fronts on my Raquel Welch wigs. So that is a thumbs up for sure, okay? Here is my right side. The density on this, I would say, is sort of medium to lighter density. It's very natural in my opinion. And there is the back. It feels really good as far as the movement. And then my left hand side, and then back to the front. So as I mentioned, this style is made from true to life heat defiant fiber, which means that you can apply heat. You could heat style this, whether you wanted to add some waves or some curls, or if you wanted to straighten it even further. What is great about this particular style is it would be easy to hit the ends with that low heat if you wanted to work on these fibers and make sure that they continue to look and feel great. As many of you know by this point that heat defiant fibers do need heat to keep them looking and feeling great. So for example, I would use my heat tools, whether that's my hot airbrush um, or my blow dryer on low heat and run through the ends here just to knock out any frizz and a tip, don't let your wig get to be a hot mess before you apply heat to its lengths. Okay, so why don't I go ahead and I will take the wig off so that we can look at the inside of the cap. And I will talk about this color in a minute, and this is SS Wheat. It is an absolutely beautiful color. Okay, so inside the cap, I will turn it inside out. So there is that left-handed monofilament part. 
okay? You have the extended lace front, which I really love. And I think that you saw how beautiful the hairline looked. And that is in large part because of this beautiful lace front and extended lace right into those ear tabs. So then you have felt covered ear tabs. They have metal stays in them. And all that means is a little piece of metal that you can bend and push close to your temple. And that helps to keep that wig flush along the side of your face. And then you've got open wefted sides and back. You've got an extended nape with these two Velcro adjusters. So I didn't adjust this out of the box, but let's say you have a smaller head circumference than myself. All you need to do is take these Velcro adjusters, pull them in, just think about it like a belt, right? You're pulling in your belt just to make that cap size a little bit smaller for your head circumference. And then as far as the stretch, there is a decent amount of stretch on this cap which is helping to contribute to be it feeling very comfortable on my head. All right, so let's talk about this color SS Wheat. And if you caught my live when I did a live unboxing of this particular wig, you may have heard me mention that when I first started wearing wigs, I had actually tried this color and I didn't like it at all. And what's funny is clearly, just like our tastes change as we get older, perhaps my taste in colors have also changed because I actually really love this shade SS Wheat. So as you can tell by both the look and the name of it, SS is standing for shadow shade. So it does have a darker root. It's actually a medium brown root. And then altogether, this, this color is really a warm medium blonde. I thought it may help you to put this color into context if I was to show you for example, Shaded Biscuit right beside it. So I have Raquel Welch's Pretty Please in Shaded Biscuit so that you can see the difference. So clearly SS Wheat is a warmer shade than Shaded Biscuit. Shaded Biscuit has a lot more of these platinum shades and cooler shades within it. But regardless, I think both of them are absolutely stunning. But I hope that this side-by-side -side gives you an idea of what to expect between the differences of these two colors. But that's not the only reason why I brought Raquel Welch's Pretty Please to show you. And I don't know if you can see just simply by holding it up here. Let me grab it there to hold it up here. It's very similar in length and in style than what we see on Own the Room. I'm gonna pop off and pop back on with Pretty Please to show you how similar these two styles actually are. Okay, so I am back and this is Raquel Welch's Pretty Please that I mentioned to you looks a lot like Own the Room by Gabor, in my opinion. So clearly I've got Pretty Please in a cooler blonde being Shaded Biscuit, but I did wanna show you how similar these two styles look in both style and length. But there are a few key differences and that is in the cap construction, okay? So if you recall, Own the Room has a left-handed monofilament part with an extended lace front, it has an extended nape, and then open wefting on the sides and on the back, okay? Versus Pretty Please by Raquel Welch is 100% hand-tied cap, okay? So Pretty Please is going to be a higher price point because of the cap construction. You've got the full monofilament top, the lace front, the extended lace front, just like we saw on Own the Room. But remember, Own the Room had the left-handed monofilament part and then wefted sides and back. So on Pretty Please, there is a little bit of stretch not as much stretch as we saw on Own the Room. And then you've got the extended nape Velcro adjusters. So when you're deciding between the two, they are both average size caps. They are both made of true to life heat defiant fibers so that you can use heat on it. You're going to see very similar color options available on both of these styles because although this is Raquel Welch, and Own the Room as Gabor. Remember, they're both made from a company called Hair You Wear. And because they're both true to life, heat defiant fibers, you're going to see very similar color options, which is excellent. The key differences, like I said, is this cap construction. This is really sort of luxury of luxury. So if you're somebody loving this style, but you're thinking, okay, what, which one should I choose? I would say it depends on your budget, number one. And then number two, if you like the flexibility, the parting flexibility, 
then Pretty Please is going to give you more options if you wanted to part it in the middle, if you wanted to part it on the right, okay? And generally speaking, a wig that has a 100% hand-tied cap like this, the individual hair movements are going to be a touch more realistic than that of a cap with wefting in it. With all of that said, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the hair movement on Own the Room by Gabor. In fact, it's gorgeous. The last thing that we should probably touch on is the measurements on Own the Room. So I already mentioned it's an average size cap. As far as these front sections, they are nine inches. So my hairline to chin measurement is seven inches. And you may be thinking, well, Erin, why are you telling me that? And that is important because wigs can look different from one person to the next based on a number of factors, but including the length of your, your face. So for example, if my face is seven inches from hairline to chin and yours is eight, eight and a half, this wig is gonna look shorter on you simply because you have a longer face than I do, okay? I hope that makes sense. And then the crown is 11 inches, which is measured from here down. The sides are 10 and a half. The back is, an ele is 11 and a half. And then all together, this wig weighs 4.6 ounces. So if the rest of the Gabor Designer Luxury Series collection is as good as this one, I am very excited to check them out and share them with you. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay well and stay safe. Bye, everybody.